Oh no. There's a raid. We are building an army. Uh a bunch of tribals. Are they attacking immediately? I didn't see. They're attacking immediately. Okay. Okay. Uh those ones are getting Oh man. We're gonna have to go in the toxic fallout. Yes! Well that might end up being bad for us. They might pull the mechs. They might pull the mechs. We did it, we beat the mech cluster. One of them. All right, I'm gonna try to split these. Turrets are doing some real work right now, but pull those, they're getting cover. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. I need to get these groups down here where they're about to cross the water. Can come back, you're not doing anything there. That group's actually attacking the, um, the mech cluster as well. I, I got a feeling they're going to pull the mech cluster. Maybe they'll beat it, though. Okay, only one guy there. We can pull these back around. Turrets are probably going to take that guy out, so... All right, north is clear. Uh, yeah, they beat, the, they beat the mech cluster. Let's check really quick, make sure none of these bleeds are crazy. There's a crazy one. Uh, bossy into them they got a little bleed as well it's all of that okay talia let's see okay two of the three are done looks like they're losing here so the question is will the max get pulled will the max get pulled okay bossy tin the bleed there Nothing else is coming from up here. Let's go ahead and get settled back behind these. Actually killed a lot of the mechs too, so... Now would be actually a decent time for them to get pulled. Uh, crap. I gotta check Fallout. We got Miner. We got Miner. Uh, pull back to the roofed area. Yeah, the mechs are coming. Alright, go forward. Talia. Actually, Sassy, come over here. Now you get up here. Gotta be careful. I gotta keep, keep an eye on that turret. Kids, come out there. We should be able to get this without them. They destroyed another tower. All right, Italia, I'm going to need you to go get, pull some of this fire. We're going to have to pull people through or out of here. Oh, no, Sassy. Sassy took a lot of friendly fire there. Sorry, Sassy. Answer. They're a wimp, so. Ooh. Back under the roof. Really worried about that toxic bullcrap now. And our, uh, our power's back out there. How close are you? 12 hours, you're fine. You're fine. Bring them in. All right, that should get them to tend to everyone. All right, looks like the doctors are doing their work. Oh, fall only lasted three days. Oh, we got so lucky, guys. We got so lucky. I mean, we didn't get extremely lucky where it was only 2.5 days. But that's about as good as we could have hoped for. 
Oh, we got so lucky there. It's it's nice to finally have some some luck. Even though it's kind of like it's it's weird to call it luck, but toxic fallout can last anywhere from like 2.5 days to whatever it is, 11 or something. And we got a three day toxic fallout, so almost as easy as it could have been. At least run still going. I know after yesterday, I really can't believe it. Yesterday was pretty nuts. Yeah, we are in some trouble with food after that toxic fallout plus um, blight combo, wombo combo there. Uh, we can get more barrels. Let's just send a barrel. All right, mule, get out of here. I was not having a, mood, a room affect their moods. Um, it impacts it quite a bit. I could have something like thirty eight more mood if we had rooms something like that all together we're out of food we're out of food yeah rough living but we also don't get the bonuses so we don't get the debuff for sleeping outside yeah and our temperature range is higher or wider i should say but we don't get any buffs for uh, obviously rooms or comfort is gun link ever useful it's unfortunate it takes up a head slot so the gun link uh you can't wear a helmet but if you have someone that's shooting and never getting attacked which is rare but if you have that situation then it's gonna be good i mean it's raining we could go kill these it would give us a little bit of meat and the fire will go out all right let's do it come on mule come on mule challenge you easy no 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 no, no. yesterday was like the hardest room i've ever played Meat's basically going to go bad right after we get back. It might be the human meat we sold to them already. That's probably why. Let's just do it. If we can get back this day, I think rice will finish in time. Uh, mule's not going to get back before bedtime, so that means that meat's going to get even closer to rotting. Would you be insulted to say this base is one of your more aesthetically pleasing ones? <laughs> You're probably right. How do you not use a fridge? So one of the mistakes I used to make when I was new to the game is I would rush for a friggin' freezer and store food, but you don't need to. Corn takes 60 days to deteriorate. Rice takes 40 days to deteriorate without being cooled at all. So as long as you're not overproducing those things, well, you shouldn't really be making more than 60 days worth of corn. Why would you need 60 days worth of corn? So just don't overgrow your food and you're fine. And then you only set them to make how many meals you need that you'll eat within three days. So take your colonist count and multiply it by, let's say, two or three. Let's say three. And only keep that many meals. That's it. Will you feel comfortable in this run to start ship launch? When I have, like, 35 pawns with masterwork weapons. All right, let's see. Psychopath, super immune. Uh, we will keep them if we can get them converted relatively quickly. Down to 76, so it's going to take a little while. Uh, let's see what the percentage is. We don't have an altar, unfortunately. 58%. It's great. Let's try it. Foliator ship. All right. That's our first defoliator. Oh, masterful. Very nice. Easy peasy. <laughs> all right. Oops. All scythers. Not a big deal. Psychically hypersensitive gourmand. Ouch. Ouch, that vat child. Ooh, oof. All right, let's get a name. Gym Tonic. Welcome to the colony. Vat child's going to be a sacrifice now. Yeah. All right, I got to decide if I want to go ahead and take care of these now or not. I don't want them to be pulled during another raid. So I might just take care of them. Let's wait till daytime either way. All right, it's daytime. Let's go take care of this. The perfect square formation. All right, Zidian is our jogger. Congratulations, Zidian. I think they're probably gonna come across right there. We'll see. Come on, Zidian.
Only some of them came. All right. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Yeah, let's come one at a time. Sure. He's doing. Oh, Sanders is getting pretty easy now that we have uh, so much firepower. Melee enemies. Melee enemies is what we want to see for sure. All right. Um, wow, look at all that slag over there. Crazy. Well, at least we have that there if we ever need uh, if we ever need some metal. So I think the only events we haven't had now is a psychic ship. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, psychic ships and uh, defoliator ships are uh, rarer if you have royalty. But then you get mech clusters instead. Um, and we haven't had a volcanic winter. That's it. We've got everything else now. <sighs> Growth moment for another vat, baby. Nimble. Nice. Kind nimble. Excellent. Oh, we got the bug. 16 shooting. Yes. We got the uh, shooting super soldier. I don't know if it's a bug or not. Because in the preview, it talks about vat grown super soldiers. There they are. Yep. It's happening. It's happening. They're only 10, yeah. <laughs> Shooting specialists. Oh, yeah. Social's really high. That's weird. Yeah, that's a great pawn, actually. They're not going to have any passions, but who cares? Back. All right. Let's let them rest, and then we'll do the ritual for uh, joint events. So this is a ideology event. We have a 50% chance of a joint event if it goes positively. So if you count that in, we got about a 40% chance per each one of these to get a new pawn. We're looking for an adult that can, that can shoot. That's about it. An adult that is good with an assault rifle. All right, Penny. Penny, 23 year old careful shooter. It's a little unfortunate, but we'll still keep you because I'm desperate for bodies. Desperate for bodies. Roy, G. All right, Roy. Hey, bossy. Yeah, get back to work. I want to see a masterwork, a masterwork. Hey. You can sleep after you've made this masterwork assault rifle. And it better have good artwork on it. And the artwork better not be of kidnap me, please. I'm sick of all the assault rifles having images of kidnap me, please on it. They're not even a real colonist. Come on, bossy. You got masterwork. All right. This weapon is engraved with a representation of Zidian. Harming Salmon Rito. Who the crap is that? Seemingly without remorse. A sheriff watches silently behind the focal point. The work has infused the idea of revenge and is done in a fava st style. This illustration refers to the disabling of salmon with an assault rifle. Nice. And this sheriff isn't doing anything. It's like, no, I didn't see it. Uh, no comment. No comment. All right. Uh, next one. All right. Pharrell. 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 Everyone knows what's happening. <laughs> kid 3 just ripped that guy's skull out. <laughs> Way to go, Kid 3. Way to go. Got a cargo pod full of full of skulls today. Yeah, right after uh, Ideology came out, one of the very first cargo pods I got was, uh, was skulls. And that was before they could stack, so it was just like 13 individual skulls. What event poses the biggest threat right now? There are two main ones. Explosive Pirate Raid and Manhunter. Specifically Manhunter, Elephants, or Bears. So. Ducky Deep Infestation. For anyone that doesn't know, those don't really scale. So this is as big as they will ever get. And it's not very big. We have a ton of firepower. It should be no problem at all. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. 
All right, so we can do the last one here. Why do I still buy components when I can craft them? Because it's wealth. I'm trading wealth that we don't need for wealth that helps us. So even though we can craft components, that takes time, which is still a resource. And I'm about to go into production of trying to get masterwork guns on everyone. So we're probably going to go through a crap load of components. So yeah, it's, it's basically trading wealth that isn't doing me any good other than creating raids for things that are going to help us. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to try out the social festival and see. That way we don't have to worry about that wood anymore. Might not be as high as a percentage, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and reform our ideology. And all we're going to do is come down here and we're going to remove these and we're going to add social Welcome festival. Back. Add five of those. We're going to edit it to be able to do any time. Random recruits. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, the altar back. Small altar. All right. So for a leader, I don't actually care about social so much. They're going to have two higher tiers of, um, of needs. So I need it to be someone that's basically going to be happy all the time. So I'm looking for someone that has a trait, which is just giving them mood increase pretty much. It might be fine to put it on Spuddy. I mean, Spuddy is, he's got burning passions, things that he's doing a lot. Pretty happy in general. I want someone that's sanguine. Uh, I'll just put it on then for now. We might change it later. All right. Successful roll change. Nice. So this is the downside of having this. So how big of a hit is it? It's a minus four. Christ. How do you level social skill? The easiest way is to get trainers, to get skill trainers. But aside from that, just have them do wardening. That is the biggest one. Just have some prisoners, but... Put the person on wardening. What will I do against Manhunter? I have some people with go juice. I'll take go juice and I'll try to kite them while everyone else fights. Also try to kill a lot of them while they are killing the turrets. Yeah, I guess I should have just kept with the lanterns, honestly, but. Because now we have the minus four for the altar being disrespected because we have an altar, but it's not in a room, but I can't put it in a friggin' room. Legendary. Oh, I thought it was the assault rifle. Legendary face mask. What a letdown. What a letdown. Commandment 976. I didn't know you were racist against daddies. Here in Sky God, don't be racist against daddies. If they're not a dad, feel free. My raid points max out? No, nowhere near. Let's take a look. I am about halfway to raid cap. Hard worker. Gormon, exactly super sensitive hard worker. So that's pretty unfortunate, but... Oh no, it's Lester! A wimp body modder. Alright, he's a dirt mole. Oh, Christ. I'm... in it... for beer. Too bad that you didn't get your name in during the dwarf run. Uh, not a fan of dirt moles. We're outside all the time. Dirt moles are basically just... I mean... Minus 12. Minus 12, always. <laughs> what does no pause make the game feel like? It makes it feel more like an RTS. Feels more like an RTS with no pause than without, by a lot. Masterwork. This way. <laughs> Look at this masterwork art. This might be the single best piece of art I've ever seen in RimWorld. This weapon bears the betrayal of a line. <laughs> Uh, it's like going to one of those modern art shows and you, you see the artwork and it's just a line. You're like, wait a minute. How is this worth $48 million? There's some kind of weird money laundering bullcrap going on here. Whoa, there it is in chat. Wait, wait, are you guys recreating this? Are you ripping this, this amazing piece of art off? You guys are going to be hearing from uh, Bossy's lawyer. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Invest now. Hey, hey, stop copying this piece of art. Priceless. Chat, you're stealing. You wouldn't download a car, would you? Freaking right out download a car in a second. If we could feed the huskies, that would be excellent. We would have more meat shields. As long as we can keep them fed. We are human primacy too, so we won't bond with them. <gasps> what meat shields? No, 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 no. Go back to the part where uh, we was just talking about getting huskies. I know as soon as I sell these freaking cowboy hats, we're immediately going to have heat waves. No walls or doors, but you're still wearing pants. What are pants, but walls to the groin? 
nervous. Uh, that sucks. I wonder if baby food can give... Hang on. Can baby food not give food poisoning? Baby food's a minus five. Nutrient paste is minus four. I didn't realize that. I thought they were the same. All right. We'll fix that. Let's play America's Hottest New Game Show. Where's that scar? So we're doing um, ritual scarring. Uh, what would I vote? You know what? Eyes have been coming up a lot. I'm going to go right eye. Right eye. Left leg. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. The below crowd got it. I'm actually going to do until we have X. X is one. And I'm going to put this as masterwork or better. That's kind of crazy, but... Oh my goodness, guys. We only need like one more research to the ship research. That's unreal. Been enjoying the edited playthroughs a lot? Yeah, thank you for letting me know. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, um, I do have edited content going up, uh, edited playthroughs going up on YouTube right now, and I've hired an editor to do that, to be able to do that. Right now, the episodes need to get about 15,000 views each to just pay for themselves, which is what I'm looking for. Like, I'd like for them to just pay for themselves. That way I can just always have an editor doing them, right? And if it goes beyond that, awesome, fantastic. But right now, they need about 15,000 views each to get there. And if you know someone that might like them, uh, you know, share them. I'd love to get them to, over time, 15k each, so they they at least pay for themselves so I can keep them going. Raid. Friggin' mechs again, man. What is going on with this? It's a breach. Mech raid. Uh, kids, stay back. Uh, pin. Talia. Captain Sassy over here. Oh, we got combat command now. Got combat command. If I can get them before they cross there. Oh, combat command. Should have got that a long time ago, man. how accurate we are with um, shooting specialist plus combat command. Uh, <laughs> ignore that. <laughs> Someone was not good. Oh, those masterwork guns. so good. Look at it's like night and day from yesterday. <laughs> oh, that river's so good. Masterwork assault rifles, shooting specialists, and combat command, plus a river. Excellent. All right, a breach raid. Uh, that's what we actually would like to see more mech breaches. Is a, is a weird thing to say, but it's probably the easiest raid that we could get right now. What are the structures on the bridges? These are unstable power cells from mech clusters from royalty. These are producing 400 watts of power forever with no like real maintenance or anything, but if they get destroyed, they will explode. Never seen someone do that. Uh, since I can't, I usually put them inside walls so that they don't get attacked really. But since we don't have walls, the safest place I could think about putting them was out on a bridge. <laughs> um, enemies are gonna be very unlikely to go back there. They still technically could, but. Mech cluster. Oh my god, mechs again, man. Where is it? It's an auto mortar. You fire in 120 seconds. I don't see any... 9.5 days. I don't see any activator type things. Okay. Alright. Uh, we need some more stone for this. In fact, let's wait on this. Gotta be really careful. There's a lot of mech structures, so... All right. Don't fail it. Kidnap me, please. Let's see. Destruction is a two. <laughs> hey. So now the um, mortar can't attack. So we have to think about this, though, because last time we left a mech cluster like this, it got really big, and then it got pulled to our base. 
And there's two centipede. There's drop pod ones here. There's mech capsules. There's two centipede production things. So we might still pull it. Masterwork assault rifle. Uh, this weapon bears an uh, illustration of Tal Garth poised over the game of herb board, planning his next action. A purple aurora shines in the background. The work reminds the viewer of togetherness. The scene takes place on the outskirts of a township. That's pretty cool. I like that one. Let's get this done and then we'll fight that. Cargo pods. I haven't had cargo pods in a while. Some uranium. Growth moment for VAT, baby. Jealous doesn't matter because there's no bedroom, so that's fine. It's fine. You think I might be higher in waypoints than I'm realizing because I have so many pawns? That's true. A lot of them are, are under 18, but that's true. I do have a lot. I would like a normal raid. Like a normal tribal raid would kind of tell me where I'm at. All right, I'm going to take care of this and I'm going to get Mule back out on the road because I think this should be resetting. 1.2 days. Perfect. All right. Um, yeah, let's go do this. I waited too long to move. I knew I did it. Mini guns the same length as uh, okay, run out in between shots. Back, back, back. Okay, wait until it fires again. Run out. Got that one.
Where's Natalia? Natalia, let's go. Oh, we can chase him. Don't worry about it, Natalia. Anyone got any big bleeds? Didn't get hit very much. You got a bleed, go over there. Bleed, go over there. Bleed. All right, that's all of them. Bossy, tinned. 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 All right. This turret's holding the line there. Helped out quite a bit. Fast work guns doing some real work. Some real work. He's got the legendary gun, so lots of damage there. Lots of accuracy. Do they buff smoke launchers? Kind of. They changed how smoke works. So smoke now basically lasts longer and it pushes it itself out. So it's easier to use them now. It is a lot nicer. Yeah, it's a lot easier to use. A lot less risk now with how they changed how uh, smoke and gases in the game work in general. Cluster defeated. Get on home. Now we can get Mule out on the road. Or an arms dealer now, apparently. Weapons and drugs. Nice. The max amount of raid points a pawn can add is 200. That's not true at all. What? Where, where are you getting that from? I'm curious where you're getting that from, though, Blue Tiger. Like, did you see that somewhere? Because, yeah, that's not accurate. Uh, how many shooting colonists do we have? We got 20. And then when these kids grow up, we'll have 24. And then when the VAT people get up, we'll have 27 shooters. Wait, wait, what was that? Oh, okay. An engraving on this weapon is shaped like a crag. A chief floats in the lower part of the image. Another masterwork. We're getting there. We're getting there. Come on, low shields. Oh, no low shields again. Uh, when did the pigs reset? 16 days, man. Oh, man. All right, we'll bring back a uh, cataphract helmet. You know what? Screw it. Sell them the telescope. We'll bring back two helmets. Well, 15 more days. We'll check for low shields again. Um, We need to actually get allies work on that we're actually gonna need more gold gold all oh, right all the silver is gone with uh with mule there oh well oh well guys we have finished research of the ship i'll just get this just in case we end up needing it for the end game need carpet now hey what's going on here hey it's pog it's my favorite pig pog what's going on pog you guys met Pog? You guys got any Pogs in the chat? Uh, Pickob insulted Pog's learning ability. Hey, chat can't, I mean, Pog can't help it. Can't help it. 